So what is meant by the term parallel? Well, imagine this whole world was a computer-based operation. You have many things occurring at the exact same time. They're all running, they're all occurring, exact same time. For an example, you could have me talking to you on this video, Flojo1, and you can have someone somewhere else in the world at the exact same time, Flojo2, playing on his Xbox. These are in a nutshell, the operation broken down into small bits and they are running at the exact same time. Then why would we actually use this? Why would we use Microsoft Flow parallel branches? Well, if we go back to our first real world example, if you was to use sequential process in the real world, I, Flojo2, would have to wait for Flojo1 to finish his recording of his video and his action to stop. Then he would not be able to do anything. And then I would be able to play on my Xbox. That's great but I wouldn't be able to breathe. I wouldn't be able to do anything else because I'm just doing my Xbox process. Therefore, it would take an astrono astronomical amount of time to actually get anything done, as it would require one action to start and finish before another one could start and then subsequently finish. Therefore, if we had this running parallel broken down into their small own bits, Running them at the same time would be extensively faster as there is no waiting for each action to complete one after another. So, for example, if I had multiple actions, two things, and I wanted them both to send notifications, one to my phone, one to my email address, rather than going, OK, let's create an action to send a notification to a mobile. Then we'll create an action to send a notification to an email. I wouldn't need to wait for one to complete before starting the next. I could fire them both at the same time and then jump on to my next step. Significantly faster. So Joe, I hear you say, there is no Xbox playing in Microsoft Flow. Yeah, I know that, but I wanted to give you a real world example so that you have something to actually relate to when you're thinking about parallel processes. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go actually have a look at a Microsoft Flow I've created previously that has um, two parallel branches and we can actually look exactly what's going on, break it down and work our way through that process. So let's move on to actually looking at what happens with our flows and how we can actually make those into parallel branches. What happened um, previously in my blog posts and videos is I would normally start with a trigger, I would then get some information and I'd send notifications or cycle through that information etc. So in this instance what I'm doing is I've got a manual trigger and then I'm going to Twitter and getting a user, which is at flow underscore geo underscore, which is my Twitter handle. So I'm basically getting all the information about my user. I'm then sending a mobile notification saying, hey Joe, you currently have, and then I'm using the dynamic content to get the followers count, followers. So I'm saying, hey Joe, you currently have 300 or so followers. Then I'm going to send an email. The subject's going to say, Twitter follower account, hey Joe, you currently have, and using dynamic content again to get the followers count, followers. So what this I'm expecting this to do is I trigger, and then go to Twitter, I get the information, I come back, that action is finished, and then start a new action. I send a notification to my mobile phone, once that action is finished, I come back, and then I go and send my email, and once that action is finished, I come back. So I'm doing a sequential process, one after the other, after the other, after the other. So if we save that and actually just do a quick test to see how this works. So what you can see here is the trigger's been triggered. Then we've gone and got the information from the user, which is all my information. And then We've sent a mobile notification with the text, Hey Joe, you currently have 343 followers. That's completed. And then we've moved on to the next one, which is 
Um, we've sent the subject of the email Twitter follower account and the body of Hey Joe, you currently have 343 followers. Awesome. So let's then convert this into a parallel branch. So what you do is you click on the plus sign. Instead of adding an action, you add a parallel branch. And in turn, you will then choose an action. So if we say send me an email notification, if I open up this, I could just copy the subject title into here and I'll copy what I've put in there before and then if I delete this um, right actually before I delete that if you look you can see this is in a sequential process on that branch and then I have another branch here doing something at the same time but if I delete this we can now see that previously it would go step one step two step three step four now what's happening is it's going step one, step two, and step three. They are both being triggered at the same time. Great. So what this will effectively allow me to do is trigger my flow, get the user, and send the notifications at the same time without having to wait for the first notification to finish and then I move on to my next one. Now if you think about this in a huge data set, if we had to uh, manipulate data or cycle through some data, create files, create entities for example. We could do a lot of that stuff at the same time and significantly reduce the time it takes for our flow to complete because we can actually have them run at the same time. So if I click save now and just quickly run a test and open that and let's just have a look. So what you see is my trigger's gone, I've gone and got the users. Now both of these have taken a second each, so if I was to run them sequentially that would have took two seconds, but because they've taken a second each and they're running in parallel, they've only taken one second to complete both processes. So we've actually managed to do both email and send a mobile notification at the same time. So that's awesome. So if you think big data set, as I just said, you could significantly reduce the time it takes for you to cycle through all this information. So that's what parallel allows you to do. That's what we were speaking about before is where we break a section down into bits. So we have this whole flow here and then we've broken down the notifications into two separate bits, allowing them to run at the same time concurrently in parallel. So what if I wanted to add another mobile notification, for example? Instead of, all I have to do is then just click add a parallel branch. And here I am, I go, send me a no mobile notification and I just go into add mobile two, for example. Then now I've got three parallel branches and you can do four, five, six, and so on. I believe the current maximum is 50 branches. So that's, that's it really. That's how parallel branches work. You can effectively go through a lot of information, a lot of data, manipulate a lot of data, do a lot of notifications, etc., really fast, really easily at the same time before moving on to your next action. So if I just go for a, another thing here and I say, okay, I want to, post a tweet for example, once all of these three have actually finished, once all of these three notifications have actually finished, it will then go and post a tweet saying, for example, this is my follower count and then I can just pass in my current followers. Um, so yeah, so rather than having to go Let's trigger the manual flow, get users, do one notification, then do another notification, then do another notification, then post a tweet. I can significantly reduce my time taken by doing it as a parallel branch. And that's as simple as it gets.